Welcome to a new segment of Cooking with Jay Simgevitz. Today, I am doing mini episodes, which means that on days that I don't film my full length video, that is not Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, it's going to be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and maybe Saturdays. So what the first thing you're going to need to create this is vanilla extract. Two teaspoons of van <laughs> vanilla extract as I spill it. Wow, way to go, Jay. Okay, so two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You're going to need eight ounces of cream cheese. That's almost the whole thing of cream cheese. That is about 250 grams of cream cheese. You're going to need one stick of butter. That's the whole stick of butter, not the full 454 grams. But it's like if you were to cut the whole big butter into four sections, it'd be one of those. And you're going to need the PS de resistance, four cups of powdered sugar, which makes the cream cheese frosting possible. So the very first thing you want to do is mix your butter and your cream cheese all together to make it silky smooth. Now that we got our butter and cream cheese mixed, it doesn't take very long when it's nice and soft. If it's rock hard, you're going to be here for about five minutes mixing and it's gonna be very complicated and it's not gonna turn out silky smooth like we want it to be. Now, the next thing you're going to add is your vanilla extract. So we're gonna dump that in. And we are going to dump our part of our powdered sugar in here. You don't want to dump it all at once. But we're going to dump about half of it in there. And now we're going to mix it. Now it has all been incorporated and I'm going to show you what it looks like up close so you can really see this goodness. Now this is what the cream cheese frosting looks like up close. It is white, well it is a yellowish white, but you can do what you want with it now. I really hope you enjoyed watching this mini episode of Cooking with Jason Kivitz that will be happening most likely Tuesdays and Thursdays. For now, that's what I'm sticking with because it's what I can do at the moment and there'll be little random pieces here and there. But I hope you enjoyed watching how to make cream cheese frosting, which took literally less than five minutes. If you did, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe below, and don't forget to comment if you, well, I said that already, but don't forget to share this with your friends, family, and all your social medias, and don't forget to join my social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I like to post a lot of different things there, so please follow them. Also remember, you guys are awesome, you guys are amazing, you're one of a kind, you're beautiful, and thank you for being part of Cooking Squad. I cannot be more extent, uh, well, well, more gratified more happy that you guys are part of Cooking Squad. And remember, the most important thing is keep calm and cook on.